1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005. Oh, hello, you caught me. Today, I am playing with Ooblek. Hello, hello, hello. My name is Dr. Evan Esquire, and I am here from Science Explorers. Let's get right to it. Today, we are talking about Ooblek. Now, Ooblek is something that some of our friends may have heard about before, but for our friends that haven't, Ooblek is a really cool kind of slime that what happens is when you squeeze it, it acts like a solid. Or when you punch it, you see that? But when you hold some in your hand, it acts like a liquid. <gasps> now, I am a big, 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 real big fan of Ooblek. Now, I bet a lot of you are wondering why it do that. I'll tell you why. When it's under stress, it gets hard. Kind of like tax season, am I right, kids? So, when it is under stress, and when I say stress, I mean, you know, being squeezed or being punched, it acts like a solid, but when you hold it, it acts like a liquid. And that is because it is what we call a non-Newtonian fluid. Now the definition of a non-Newtonian fluid is a fluid that does not follow Newton's law of viscosity, i.e. a constant viscosity under stress. So what does that mean? A non-Newtonian fluid is a, you know, something you can pour that when it's under stress, when it's getting squeezed and punched, it either gets harder or softer. Another non-Newtonian fluid that you may have seen before is ketchup. Ketchup is a non-Newtonian fluid. And what actually happens with the ketchup is when you shake it up like this, it gets softer and kind of runnier in a sense. And also gets even messier when you forget to put the cap back on. Side note, do you like my ascot? I just found it. So, how do you make Ooblek? I'll tell you. All you'll need is some cornstarch, which you can get at any grocery store, really, and some water. Whoop, whoopsie daisy. On that note, I will say, this is an outside activity, if you can. Whoop, I wonder what that was. So for this activity, to make Ooblek at home, all you'll need is some cornstarch and some water and some food coloring. So what you wanna do is measure out a cup and a half of cornstarch. A cup and a half, there we are. Measure out one cup of your water. Pour in a little bit, mix, 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 mix. You're gonna take the rest of your water and you're gonna pour it in. So when mixing, it is important to have a nice little steady hand and also uh, forgiveness for yourself and for others. And hope other people have forgiveness for you because uh, sometimes you get this all over the carpet at Plymouth Elementary and then you have to apologize to their principal who was more understanding than she had to be. Now, even here, I can see that mine is still a little too watery. So what I like to do is just add a little bit more cornstarch at a time. It kind of is something that, uh, you know, I've never found an exact recipe that works. It's something that you kind of have to work with as you go. So just adding a little bit more cornstarch if it's too runny uh, or adding a little bit more water if it's too hard. Gauge that I use for when Ooblek is done is when I can touch it without it sticking to my fingers. Now this is pretty good. And at a certain point, your fork isn't gonna do you much good after that. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna use your hands to mix it up. And you wanna make sure you get all of it off the walls and maybe add just a little bit more. Yep, da, 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 da. Who's that guy that says, uh, bam, emerald? Something like that, who knows? So this will be your Ooblek that you can have tons of fun with. Now parents, I bet some of you might be apprehensive to this because it looks kind of messy, but even if you do make a mess with this, it's actually very easy to clean up. You wanna make sure that you don't use water to try cleaning it up off of you know, the carpet. Let's say you get some on the carpet, don't use water to clean it up. That just makes more oobleck. What you wanna do is let it dry 
and then it just turns back into cornstarch. It's essentially a powder that you can just vacuum up very easily. Also, do not put this stuff down the sink. It can be bad. So be sure to try this activity. I think oobleck is something that every kid should get to make, and I personally love it so much. I love this stuff. Before we go, there are two more things I wanted to mention today. I'm gonna do a contest where I'm gonna pick someone at random who shares this video on Facebook. I will personally send you a hand-crafted goodie bag. I'm gonna pick out some awesome experiments for you to do. I got some uh, t-shirts and I got a lot of good stuff to send you. So be sure to share this and hopefully you'll win. I, I'm rooting for you. Uh, thank you for all the love these videos have gotten. Uh, I really enjoy doing them, so please be sure to like, share, uh, subscribe, follow. I don't know how any of that works. The second thing I wanted to tell you was be sure to tune in on Friday, which is tomorrow, because we have a real big announcement uh, that I think none of you are going to want to miss, and I think you're really going to enjoy it. So be sure to tune in on Friday. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, again, I am Dr. Evan Esquire, still not an actual doctor, but as always, I'm from Science Explorers, and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye. Uh, Woo! Actually hurt.